Hello and welcome to this minimal Godot tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at exporting variables, what that means. So when you're looking at Godot scripts examples online, you might see some variables that have the word export before them. We're going to talk about what that is today and why you might use them. So let's go ahead and create a new 2D scene. I'm going to change the type of this to be a sprite. Uh, and we will just call it, um, I don't know what to call it move me okay and uh, with that selected we're gonna drag over let's use the the spaceship sprite here textures let's go it's right here and we're gonna zoom in on it let's go ahead and transform that I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and I'm going to attach a script to it yeah move me script that's fine so in a previous video we talked about movement we can say inside our process here so it's happening over and over and over again position dot x plus equals and we'll say speed and we will create a variable up here called speed I gotta say var var speed equals and we'll say five and as we talked about in, in the previous video we, or not previous video, but a previous video uh, why we create variables so that we can change that number uh, without having to go and change everything in code everywhere I'm going to save this scene. We'll save it as uh, move me. And I'm going, I hit uh, control S to save, by the way, just like pretty much every other program in the world. I'm going to go to our main scene now. And I am going to add an instance. So I'm going to right click to say instant. And I'm going to choose move me. So now we have this move me here. When I hit F6 to run this scene, you can see that spaceship this little one flying across the screen. That's great. Let's create another one. I'll shift D to clone that, put one there, shift D to clone that, put one there. I'll hit F6 and there we go. We have three of them. But let's say I want them all going different speeds. I don't want to have to write a full script for each one just to change the speeds of them. So let's go back to the move me scene. Let's click on here to bring up the script and change this. We're going to just add to the beginning export. Now I'll go back to my main scene 2D and now you'll see over here when I have one of these selected there's script variables and there's our speed variable and it has a default speed of 5. So if I hit F6 now they're still all moving at the speed of 5. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to select this one and I'm going to say 1. And I'm going to select the next one. I'll leave that at 5. And the next one I'll change to 10. So now they each have their own speed without having to go and change the code. I can change it right there in the editor. So again, this one has a speed of 1. This is a speed of 5. This one has a speed of 10. And they're all moving along at different speeds. And of course, I can grab another one. I can do Shift D. Oh, sorry. Control D to clone that. Move it somewhere else. And I'll change this one to be speed of 7. Now you notice once I change it, you get this little um, redo icon, I guess you would call it. What that will do is it will, if you click that, it sets it back to whatever the default speed is, which is what I set in the script. So now I do seven, and now we have one at the speed of one, one at the speed of five, 10, and seven. Great. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Should be a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.